these are the four screws you need to remove on each arm. That one's the Phillips head, the rest the socket head cap screws. A good idea, get yourself a long series Allen key that will then allow you the ball end to actually screw the longer one out on an angle and clear the top of the skids otherwise you have to quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn so you can buy a set of these for about 10 bucks make sure they've got the ball in that allows you to screw them in on angle and finally just nip them up these are the original screws taken out and as you can see they've got the blue Loctite on them even though they recommend not to use Loctite they apparently use Loctite themselves on the screws after you have removed the propellers and you have undone those four screws on each arm when you remove the top cover this is what you are presented with the ones that you need to be worried about are the N1 connected position and the power lead to power the gimbal I also made up a JST power lead there is a lead inside the body it's got thinner wires you can pull that down and try to put your own connector on but I found it's easier buying these pre-made connectors and you just solder the end of the JST lead to the lead that's inside the body making sure that you put a bit of heat shrink on the positive a bit of heat shrink on the negative leads to cover the solder and you have then another heat shrink that goes over both and then that seals it from any problems that way you can adjust the length of the lead quite easily the rubber plug that's in the hole that will allow it to stay in position so I've run it on this particular leg because that was the closest and as you can see the power goes across the body but you're free to run it through any hole depending on how long your cables are this is the power lead to power your gimbal as you can see there's the grey and red leads that comes from the board on the quadcopter and below it you can see the red and black leads of the JST plug and it is a heat shrink on each of the black and red leads that covers the solder and then there is one heat shrink to cover both of those so as it won't vibrate or rub through and that's just been pulled up to show you where it is and it just slides back down and tucked in nice and neat this is the longer servo lead that I made up what you do is you just buy a DuPont lead they're on eBay there's thousands of them different lengths and fairly cheap and you just unclip your RC lead that come with the gimbal take out the plug on either end and plug it on the other end of the cable the difference that seems to be between the RC servo lead and the DuPont lead is the RC leads seem to be still molded together and the DuPont's are single leads so what you need to do is just plait the lead which reduces the length but also keeps it together and if you don't know how to plait it's fairly easy you run the three leads parallel and then left over right over left over right over left over right over left over right over and that's the same for three plats four plats five plats fifty plats this is the routing of the long servo lead up through the rubber plug on the right and then around the back of the other leads and into the F1 servo connection and if you have a real long lead you can just put a lot more plats in it it also allows you to shorten it and the more plats you have stiffens it as well this is a bottom view showing you the holes that the RC servo lead come through and also the power JST plug connection as it's got one lever on the transmitter that goes onto that connector on the left which is your pitch which is your down and up thanks for watching 